Okay, today we are talking about The Dead, which is the other, the second short story we, we are reading from the Dubliners. Here is a very short uh, comment on the, on the dead, and you have to try to remember the most important elements, because if you have to talk, if they ask you to talk about uh, Dubliners and you can introduce uh, Eveline and the dead, talking a bit more in detail, it would be a good idea. Uh, okay, the short story is uh, all the other, as all the other stories, uh, set in, in Dublin, in the city of Dublin, and the year is uh, 1904. And uh, there are three women, three sisters, the Morgan, who are uh, giving a party uh, to, um, for relatives and friends uh, for the Christmas day. And uh, um, in the general, in the first part of the story, we have uh, the idea, the impression of everything uh, really happy. Uh, there is uh, dance, music, uh, people uh, chatting and food and drinks, uh, champagne. And uh, it seems that all the guests are enjoying the evening. Um, but uh, at the end, uh, um, in the second part of the story, when uh, the, the, the party is, um, is um, uh, quite fair at the end, we see that uh, the story focuses on two characters, uh, the two characters of Gabriel and Greta, they are husband and friend and, and wife. And just before leaving, while they are leaving the house of the, the three sisters, Greta listens to a song, The Last of Ogrim, uh, which is a very old uh, traditional romantic song, and she starts uh, um, crying. Uh, because she, the, the melody reminds her of her past love, Michael Forey. Uh, and while she is um, crying, she she's uh, her husband is looking at her, so he's uh, quite astonished about her reaction. Uh, then they go back to the hotel, and uh, um, we see that Gabriel tries to understand what happened, the reason why uh, his um, his wife was crying. Um, before talking about the end, so the the, um, uh, the epiphany of Gabriel, uh, we um, have, we say a few things about the character of uh, Gabriel. Um, Gabriel, we can say that he's the main character of the story, uh, and uh, though he seems uh, to be very happy. Uh, and just a happily married teacher, we gradually discover in the story that he is not uh, as confident as, uh, as he looks, as he may seem. Uh, Gabriel is uh, really worried about uh, himself because he is not sure, he is insecure about his physical appearance and about what he says, uh, what, how, what people think about himself, uh, about his clothes, so he is in general insecure. Um, and Gabriel is also at the same time uh, aware of his um, education, which is uh, uh, really superior if compared to the one of the other people who are at the party. Uh, he considers himself uh, culturally and intellectually elevated. Um, but uh, at the same time, though he's a very, he's an intellectual, he feels an intellectual, he's aware that he doesn't have a good relation with any other uh, person, uh, included his wife. And this is particularly evident uh, after this party. Um, in fact, in the, in the last scene, when Gabriel uh, discovers the reason why his wife was crying, he, understand, uh, he understands that uh, though he has lived, he has spent a whole life thinking to be in connection with his wife, to be loved by his wife, uh, he discovers, uh, he suddenly discovers that uh, his life, the, the thought and the love of his life uh, have always been um, directed to another person who is this uh, Michael Foray. 
uh, and in the moment when he realizes this, uh, this is the epiphanic moment of the story. Um, in fact, uh, we see that the two main themes of the story of this uh, short story are the epiphany um, and the death. Um, after his uh, wife's uh, confession uh, of uh, having a love before uh, she met him, um, Gabriel realizes in that moment that he, he doesn't know, he has never known his wife as he thought to have. And um, so he, he discovers the truth about himself, that he's completely alone, that he's uh, a very lonely human being, and is more dead than alive. And when he makes a comparison between his feelings and the, um, the idea of Michael Forey, he realizes that even if he's alive and Michael is dead, uh, actually uh, the, the real dead person is himself. Because uh, he, differently from uh, for Michael Forey, he has never been able to love so strongly a woman. The other uh, important theme is death. Uh, it is actually um, a very uh, dominant, a really dominant theme in the story because um, it, the idea of death, of something that is uh, um, that is not perfectly alive, starts to appear since the very beginning of the story. Um, so uh, even if there's a very animated discussion about nationalism, politics, uh, culture, uh, we, um, we see that uh, the atmosphere, the real atmosphere is uh, uh, characterized more uh, by a dark tone of decay. Um, moreover, we see that uh, as as very often happens in uh, in Joyce, uh, the name of uh, Lily, uh, which is the um, one of the most important character, uh, another of the. Um, most important characters reminds uh, the uh, image of a lily flower which is used uh, for the funerals and also Gabriel which is the name of the protagonist is the name of, um, of Gabriel the angel who is considered the angel of death. Uh, then there are the people, uh, the dead people they remember during, uh, they recall, uh, whose memory they recall during the party. And we see that uh, um, they try to uh, highlight, to uh, underline the good qualities of uh, these dead people, uh, while um, the bad qualities seem to remain only in, um, in, in, their, life, in their lives. Uh, similarly, in, um, in Gabriel's uh, speech, uh, we have the, the, the theme of death, which is uh, really clearly introduced. Uh, and at the end of the story, uh, when Greta tells uh, Gabriel about Michael Forey, uh, and um, he realizes that uh, uh, he was not so important as he thought to be, and uh, this reflection is uh, particularly sad for him. Um, another important uh, moment is uh, um, the interior monologue at the very end of the story. You can find it at lines 41 and 42 on the book. And uh, when he says that uh, uh, through the window he can see the snow falling and uh, covering the universe, uh, uh, and it seems that uh, the, the snow uh, makes everything the same, so he covers and uh, eliminating all the differences between dead and dead people and uh, living people. Um, James Joyce, uh, as, as it is particularly evident also in this story, uh, even if you haven't read it, the whole story, I hope you have. Uh, James Joyce was particularly able to uh, give uh, um, a very uh, a deeper meaning to um, his uh, ordinary stories. Uh, 
uh, and uh, this story, for example, is the symbol of uh, the relation between uh, the dead people and the living people, between the past and the present. And we can say that uh, um, the people who are not able to uh, appreciate, to enjoy life, uh, but remain linked to the past memories, um, are unable to uh, be really alive. Uh, therefore, the dead is, uh, can be seen as uh, a portrait of Ireland, because it was a country with an emotional paralysis, uh, typical of the uh, Irish society in the 20th century.